we, we yeah uh, welcome uh, everybody. Welcome to this uh, online uh, dissemination seminar. Uh, this uh, is a seminar uh, which where uh, the principal investigator, Mr. Tinashe, will be presenting uh, his uh, results uh, for a project funded under the special COVID-19 uh, call for proposals, which the MRIC launched um, just after the first uh, confinement. And uh, the objective was to find new ways of uh, how to help uh, Mauritius to uh, counteract the effects of uh, COVID-19 in whatever ways we can. Um, so I will, uh, without uh, any delay, I will let our executive director, Professor Bauran, uh, say a few words and uh, we will pass on to uh, Tinashe for his presentation. Prof? Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Vikram. Uh, welcome to all. Welcome to VMRIC. Welcome to this webinar. Just like Vikram just alluded to, uh, this is the outcome of one of the projects that were funded under the COVID-19 special call. In fact, uh, just to recall, we had uh, 26 projects that were approved. And uh, to date, uh, as we speak, 18 have, have already been completed and eight are still ongoing and uh, understand that they are nearing completion. So uh, this is in line with uh, the activities and the vision of the MIC, uh, tackling specific issues, specific problems when these problems arise, besides funding uh, classical schemes which exist at the level of the council. So as such, we had the COVID-19 special call and following uh, with COVID-19, we had also a number of other calls that address specific issues that the country faced uh, during, uh, I would say, the, the new normal. Uh, you would remember that we had the uh, Wakashu oil spill, where we also had a special call. A number of projects have been approved. Many of them have already been completed as well. Then we had the pandemic and, and in response to requests from stakeholders, from the private sector, from the public sector, from academics, we had launched a series of calls, uh, notably the fast track innovation initiatives, where a number of projects are currently being funded, enterprise innovation booster scheme, where nine projects have been approved and funded already. And uh, also we uh, are working on uh, the public sector transformation scheme where we are addressing special issues, specific issues pertaining to the public sector. And here again, the MIIC is helping through uh, the financing of specific projects that would resolve uh, a number of problems at the level of the public sector. Uh, just to put us into the new context of the MOIC, we uh, are in the process of extending of our mandate. In fact, it has already been passed through the Finance Act. The MOIC has now an extended mandate, not only to coordinate and promote research and innovation, but to conduct also research in specific areas, priority areas for the country. So there's currently a lot of discussion at the level of the council. Uh, looking at uh, this new extended mandate and how to address uh, uh, the upcoming activities. But uh, just I, I would like to add on uh, in the middle of our challenge because we consider also that the council should address grassroots innovation and uh, as you may have seen in the media we are all in the media right now with a national innovation challenge closing date is on the 27th of uh, of august so you still have some time if you have new ideas uh, to to come up uh, uh, that, that can be transcribed into perhaps startups or novel enterprises, please submit your ideas. Uh, this is a competition, which is at the end of the day, will be rewarded by, by free prizes, the first one being 250,000 rupees. So please uh, send your ideas, you still have some time. And in the long run, we are planning to have our national innovation campaign, which would uh, accumulate at the end of the year, most probably in January, with the 
uh, event, which is known as the Assise de la Recherche et de l'Innovation, which we uh, were planning to organize to try to have a roadmap for innovation uh, for the country. So uh, these are some activities we are currently involved. And today's, uh, I would say, uh, webinar is a very interesting subject where we uh, are going to listen to uh, the applicants to uh, regards to, uh, say, uh, I would say, uh, that particular project which has arrived to completion. Uh, what it proposes is services to professionals, workers, where we can rate these services and indeed uh, for possible recommendation or non-recommendation. I think uh, uh, we're going to hear from the uh, from the speakers. And uh, I, 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 from reading from, from the summary, it comes out clearly that at the end of the day, uh, the, the results would provide the basis for the improvement in the quality of services that, that can be offered whether from workers or from professionals. So this, this creates a lot of opportunity. So let's hear from the speakers. And indeed, if there are any questions, all participants can have their questions uh, in, the, in the boxes or they can intervene directly. Thank you. Thank you, Prof. Uh, so um, as Prof uh, just mentioned, uh, so Tinashe will be presenting and in the meantime, uh, feel free to post your questions in the question and answers uh, box. And um, then in any case, after his presentation, we may have uh, uh, interactions. So um, Tinashe, the floor is yours. Okay, uh, thank you, Dr. Vikram. I uh, thank you, uh, Executive Director. Um, yeah, so today uh, the goal is to present uh, the project which we collaborated on with the MRIC. Uh, so I'd like to take the opportunity to uh, thank the MRIC for uh, giving the seed funding uh, to make creating this platform uh, a reality. You know, if it wasn't for the MRIC, uh, supporting it as an idea, as a concept, uh, you know, we would not be where we are today. So thank you so much, um, MRIC, for uh, supporting this project. Uh, thank you so much to my partners, uh, Vede, um, and uh, my tribe, uh, you know yourselves. Uh, so, so the goal of this project uh, was really to think critically about how people who look for jobs and people who are looking for talent, uh, how that's going to change in the light of COVID-19. Uh, COVID-19 made people more, uh, more thoughtful around, you know, what are some of the ways they can diversify their streams of income. Uh, they realized that, you know, their full-time jobs, there was nothing like job security uh, in that you needed to be adaptable, you needed to be able to uh, pivot your career uh, to be able to transfer the skills that you've taken in one profession to another, uh, because whatever profession that you're working in is not it's not guaranteed that it's going to be there for uh, for as long as you, you you think it's going to be there for. So the way I, I structured this presentation, um, I have I'm just going to give a brief uh, synopsis of where the project came from. Uh, so I'm going to share my screen, and then uh, I really just want to showcase the demo of how the platform works so that whatever conceptual idea that I'm presenting is uh, you understand what you get if you actually use the platform. Okay, so I'm going to share the platform. I'm going to share my screen just now. Okay. Let's do this. Okay. So Credibility over credentials. This has really been the sort of the, the guiding theme around uh, trying to develop a, a platform like Credible Pro. And this came around just tr trying to contrast it with how, uh, what was the experience of job seekers when they go on a platform like myjob.mu, which is the, the most popular recruitment platform, or LinkedIn. Um, and, and you find that, that the job seekers who tend to do really well on these platforms are people with uh, you know, glossy credentials, people who have worked at the big brand name companies. And this is, not the, this is not the case for a lot of people looking for opportunities. You know, they don't have the 
the the big ENL or uh, or Ceridian on their on their on their profile. So we wanted to find a way to make sure that if you're a job seeker who has a good record of giving value and you're credible in that sense, we design a platform where we are documenting every instance where you're adding value and people are, are acknowledging the value, whether they paid for it or they did not. And this is how we came to Credible Pro. So Credible Pro uh, is a referrals and talent searching platform. And I'll explain uh, what that entails. So on Credible Pro, uh, unlike every other job seeking platform or my job or LinkedIn, um, professionals who you've worked with or people you've given value to can rate, review, or recommend you. Uh, and the reason why we, we, we thought the reviews were such a powerful tool is, uh, you know, we, we, we rely on reviews for different things in our lives already. Uh, if you're looking to go to an Airbnb, um, you, 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 you depend on, on how good the reviews of the, of the host are. And one bad review can actually discourage you from uh, trusting uh, to, to, to put your money or to bring your family to live with this host. Uh, you know, when we're shopping on, on eBay, on Amazon, or people who do online shopping, uh, one, one bad review or one good review can be uh, the, the difference between you trusting a stranger with your money. Uh, and I think that the, the, what we identified is that there's a gap in the talent searching market where uh, a very uh, elaborate and um, a very intentional use of reviews and recommendations uh, can actually be useful in uh, matching people who are looking for talent and the talent. Uh, and so what happens in Credible Pro is that after you get all these reviews, um, you are able to download them as a CV. So it's like a CV build of sort. And we'll explain how that works. And again, our job as the, the platform is to make sure that we're verifying that the information that's being given on the reviews is valid and it's true. Uh, so we have different uh, data points or information that you collect uh, to make sure that's, that this is the case. So, you know, I'm just going to breeze through this. This is these are some of the figures that informed why we thought this was something which was really necessary to, to focus on. Um, you know, uh, again, like I said, the world is changing with COVID. You know, people are now more open to remote work. Uh, you know, jobs, people are moving across different industries. Uh, employers are now more open to using contingent or part-time uh, workers. Um, and then in Africa, in Mauritius included, uh, so these are some of the industries which are experiencing a rise in, in either market demand and ultimately talent demand as well. Uh, so who is Credible Pro for? So I'm, I'm going to, again, I'm going to try to rush through so that we go to the demo where you can see how everything works. Uh, the first main group of users for Credible Pro are job seekers. Um, and we already tried to test this concept with, uh, when we rolled out the Mauritius uh, uh, Tourism Industry uh, Career Pivoting Program, which was catered to the uh, professionals in the tourism industry who had lost jobs. So we're trying to see a way where we can find a way to qualify their value uh, in such a way that we take the transferable skills that they took in the tourism industry uh, and then we find a way to, to apply this in other industries where the transferable skills are valid. So uh, job seekers can collect recommendations, right, as I said, and then those recommendations can be downloaded as, as a CV. So it's like a PDF. Uh, that's exactly the same as a CV that you'd make for yourself, except our CV is so credible in that it's a CV that's written for you by other people which is one of the, the areas we're trying to, to test this innovation because a lot of the times when job seekers are looking for jobs on uh, my job or LinkedIn, they're using information which they self curated. So this is information which is curated by other people, by third party checkers. So it's, it's a more valid CV. Uh, and, and again, you know, increasingly people are starting to use uh, CV coaches um, and so, the difference sometimes as a recruiter between a great CV and a not so great CV is not a great candidate and not, and a not so great candidate. It's actually a candidate who 
was coached well, uh, which uh, is, is not exactly what you're looking for, right? You're looking for the best candidate. Uh, and so this is a step closer into getting a more truthful, accurately, a document that accurate, accurately portrays uh, a candidate's capacity to add value. And then the second group of users on this platform <clears throat> are reviewers or recommenders, right? We use these words interchangeably. And these people can submit text, audio, or video recommendations of the people they've worked with. So we're talking about, you know, people who either you've hired, uh, people who have hired you, right? Because your subordinates can also give uh, really useful insights about your ability to lead. Um, and you as a subordinate also, you can, the person who led you or the person who hired you can give insights as to how much of uh, a good value add to a team you are. Uh, and then again, we also tested the concept of um, right now, because people, people are using their social media or their internet platforms or their blogs uh, differently. So you find that someone can actually add value using their LinkedIn profile where they are posting uh, regular blogs. Uh, or maybe they have a newsletter. So right now there's a rise of a platform called Substack, which is a which is a newsletter platform. And so a lot of these people have loyal audiences in these different platforms. And so you are actually adding value on your on your Twitter page by your insights about a marketing or your insights about business development. And while you are actually adding impact and value to that person's life. Uh, you don't really know them. You don't have a one-on-one -on -one relationship with them. So on Credible Pro, we have a way for, for people who uh, experience your value, even though it's not directly, to actually give you a review to say, uh, you know, I follow Dr. Vikram's blog. You know, his insights on the development landscape in Mauritius uh, really helped me. Even if Dr. Vikram doesn't know you personally, it's something that is open for you to just submit and then it feeds into his credibility profile. And you can always use this to either boost his profile or uh, if he was a job seeker, you would use it to, to look for the next job. Um, and then the other uh, category of people who use this platform are hiring managers. Now these people can post jobs uh, and more importantly, which is something that they don't have on other platforms is they can use advanced filters to view uh, pre-vetted and reference checked candidates, which is different from what a hiring manager would get if it, they go on any other job uh, platform on the market, because on every other job platform on the market, you're really just looking at candidates who anyone who just applied, even if they don't have good references. And sometimes you only learn much later into your process after you've already wasted time and resources to realize that actually, oh, this person may not actually be that great. Maybe they don't have great references. So we're giving hiring managers a platform where they can choose to just see people who they know for sure are trusted in industry, okay? Uh, and then also we have, we've made lists where uh, you can just, if you're looking for developers, you don't have to post a job. You can just go on our developers list and it shows all the developers that are highly rated that we've already verified. Um, and you know, sometimes maybe you don't even know that you need someone until you see their skill set, which is again a different way of looking for talent. Because right now you have to come up with a job description first and then look for talent. So this is an opportunity for you to see someone, which is you know something which I've done myself when I was trying to look for talent for my own platform. The people who after I learned, after I got how much they are praised by people who've worked with them before. I was like, you know what? I need someone like this in my team. So, so, so that's also something that you get. And then uh, uh, hiring managers can also create referral groups. So these are groups where you can just add people who you trust. And then when you post jobs, instead of jobs being visible to everyone else, they are visible to these people you trust. And then they are responsible for just referring people to you. Uh, these referral groups can also be used by companies who just want to have a job board for just their employees. So their employees will be able to just have access to a job board where nobody else has access to. Uh, so, so again, uh, I'm going to show this shortly. And then lastly, our founders and entrepreneurs 
this is also a platform for them. Now, when, when I started my company, I was, you know, I had trouble looking for a co-founder. Uh, and I think this is a problem which a lot of even MRIC sponsored uh, incubatees uh, who are under the different uh, in, in, in incubators we, we face, right? You're looking for someone to be a partner uh, in this journey. And so there's not so much information that you can use to actually assess who do you want to be part of your team? Um, and what are co-founder lists? Now, this is where the reviews and the ratings become really useful uh, more than what you're getting on LinkedIn. On LinkedIn, you're getting someone's image of themselves, how they portray themselves. On Credible Pro, you're getting the image of how other people portray this person. So with our curated co-founder or CTO list, founders and entrepreneurs are able to uh, view uh, uh, aspiring entrepreneurs who are highly rated uh, by other people. And then they're also looking to be partnered in, uh, in entrepreneurial projects. And then this would be an easy way to, to see if there's a fit. Um, so yeah, so uh, I had spoken about the Mauritius tourism uh, industry career pivoting program, which we launched where we're, uh, we're trying to, to test this concept on some of the some of the talent in the tourism industry who lost jobs. Uh, so right now I'm going to show you the demo of the platform and how it works because you know I'm I'm talking a big game. Uh, and uh, let's let's see if the platform that we actually have uh, lives up to these ideals. Uh, so just a second. Um, Okay, it's going to go on the platform. Okay. Uh, right. So this is this is the platform. This is a credible pro platform. This is the homepage. Um, we which we, we followed. Uh, we try to make it. We try to make our design as modern and as uh, as internationally competitive as possible. So you know these these are the standards that you'd expect on the platform, like whether it's LinkedIn uh, or some of the the more advanced platforms on the market today. Uh, so to sign up, you know, if different, you know, it's, uh, it's the usual options. So right now I'm just going to sign up quickly with, with my LinkedIn account, uh, which you can do when you sign in. Um, then I'm just going to sign in. Let's see. Okay. Uh, okay, I'm signed in. Um, and then when you sign in, it you know it goes straight to your profile. So I've already sort of started adding some information to my profile. Um, so you know you can see it's uh, you know there are different things you can add. So when you when you get into your profile, you know you, you just have to make sure that you add uh, the usual information you usually put in then the skills that you want people to recommend you for. Okay. Uh, so this is important because until you do this, people cannot give you a complete review. And then uh, also adding languages, right? We, you know, people joke about sometimes when people say they speak this language really well uh, on their CV and then they go to a job and they don't actually speak it that well. So everything that you're putting in your settings uh, is information that you want to be uh, rated for. And then, so right now, I'm going to test. Uh, I'm going to test giving a giving a review. Okay. So if you want to give a, uh, someone you know a review, you go to write a review, and uh, it's going to show you a list of uh, different members, um, and then you pick someone you know, right? Mm -hmm. So I am going to. So I'm going to test two different kinds of reviews. I'm going to test. Uh, first, I'm going to uh, give a give a give a major review. So there are two types of reviews. There's a 
no more review and there's a micro review. A, a no more review is a review that you give to someone who you know really well, you worked with for a long period of time, um, and you have enough touch points for you to be able to answer a detailed, uh, a detailed review for. So I chose uh, Ngoni right now. So Ngoni and I, we, we worked in the same group when we were at the, I want to represent when we're in part of the HSBC competition. Uh, so I'm just going to choose him uh, for now and then I'll, I'll use another example. Uh, and this was in 2019. We, you know, we we're part of this team where we we're representing Mauritius in Hong Kong. Um, and we worked together, I think it was around, I think from January 2019 to June 2019. Okay, uh, so I'm just gonna say, so then it shows you nearly worked with him for six months. Did I pay him or not? So this is important, right? Uh, I didn't pay him because again, we're in the same team. So, uh, but wasn't going to pay to do the work that we're doing. So technically he was paid because there were rewards and incentives to be able to do what we're doing. So I'm going to say someone else did. And then uh, how likely am I to recommend Goni to a colleague of mine or to a company that's looking for talent? Uh, so I'm giving him a 10 rating. And then how do I rate his communication? I'm giving him a five. Uh, he met expectations uh, and timely execution. Okay, maybe I'm biased. Um, you know, I'm giving him five. And then what was the project? So the project was the HSBC business case competition right so i'm giving now i'm giving context to what what we did together and then he was part of a team or he was the chief strategist in the team most of our brilliant ideas came from him yeah from him, okay? And then uh, what did he do well? He was very, so I'm just be proactive in his contributions and quick point out when the team was delaying, team was delaying progress, okay? So this is a dummy. Again, I'm just, I'm not going to be that elaborate. The impact is a result of his contributions. We qualified represent Mauritius and HSBC in Hong Kong, right? So again, these questions are so elaborate in such a way that if I don't know him well, I'm going to start not being able to, to answer some of these questions, okay? Uh, and then share a link or an upload to, the, to our work during our collaboration. So I don't have the link right now, but I would have added a link which shows uh, us whether us together in during the, 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 the participation or maybe a link of, a, of when we got the contract that you know the whole team is being invited. So whatever it is that can prove that actually I worked with him and that we did what we say we did. Uh, and then I can also record a video and then just upload it. Uh, so this is where it starts to get interesting. This is where the marketplace element of the platform comes in uh, between the video review and the audio reviews in that if you want to, instead of, just putting this text I just added, you actually record a video on your computer or on your phone. Um, you give the same information, right, about this person, and then you upload it here. And if people want to access that information, they pay uh, because it's, it's, it's additional, it's, it's taking more of your time. We want, to, want you to be paid for helping people want to work with Gwani, uh, get more information about him. So um, uh, right now with a flat fee where if you want to access the video reviews, uh, you pay $20. Um, and then the person who created the review gets 80% of the proceeds 
and we take 20% of the proceeds as our commission. Um, and then the same goes for the audio review. The audio review is cheaper, it's $10. Um, and then we, again, we take 20% of the proceeds. So I'm going to show you an example of how to record an audio, um, an audio review. So say I've written all this and I want to give a review from going in, 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 in audio. So I'm going to test it. So hello, my name is Nashe Alpha Sibanda. I worked with Ngoni during our HSBC case competition. Uh, he was such a pleasure to work with. He contributed immensely, he was our chief strategist. He gave the best insights and we would not have made it as the most voted for team if it wasn't for his contributions. Then I've stopped. Uh, and then, you know, I can replay if this is good enough. So hello, my name is Nashe Alpha Sibanda. I worked with Ngoni during our HSBC Kings competition. Uh, it was such a pleasure to work with. He contributed immensely, he was our chief strategist. He gave the best insights and we would not have made it as the most voted for team if it wasn't for his contributions. Okay, awesome. So I like this, so I'm just going to keep it. Uh, if I didn't like it, I'd be just clear and then uh, record a new one. And then for the skills endorsements, I'm going to endorse him uh, for the skills that he listed. Again, so the way the skills endorsements work is that the professional or the user sets the skills that they want to be endorsed for. And then those are the skills which I get access to to endorse. So I'm going to endorse these research skills. Uh, business development, I, I'm not gonna endorse him for this particular experience because uh, he, didn't, he didn't get to display that skill. So to be more authentic, I'm going to endorse him on that. And then for language endorsements, I'm going to endorse his English speaking. And Shona, it so happens that we both speak Shona, so I know he speaks it really well. Then I'm going to submit the review. So it's just going to take a bit of time because it's uploading the audio. Um, once that's done, um, we should be able to see the, the entry on his profile. Um, okay, so just, uh, just a few seconds. Okay. Okay, it's uploaded. Okay, so it then takes us to Ngwani's profile. And so here's my review. And so here's what the review looks like when you submit it. Uh, it's showing, so it shows the, the impact as the tagline. So he was uh, very proactive in his contributions and quick to, so you'd have to open the, the review in full to see. Um, so, you know, what are the project objectives, the HSBC case competition, and then you get the context around uh, this experience. Um, and then you're able to download the audio. If you want to download the audio and um, you, you, want to, you want to hear the audio version instead, I uh, just click the download button. Um, for, for me, because I'm the one who gave it, I, I'm able to just download it. But if you're someone who, who are just trying to access it, say you are hiring manager. Uh, so here is the download, it's just over here, if you can see it. Uh, but if you're someone who did not give this review, and you're someone who is trying to vet Ngoni as someone who you want to hire, then in such a scenario, you would have to pay for it. And there you pay the $10 that I mentioned. And 80% of that goes to me, the person who made the review. So again, the reason why we decided to make it that way is that right now, our recruiters or recruitment agencies, when they are confirming a candidate, they call, you, they call the references to make sure that the candidate is actually as good as they say. Um, and then when the recruitment agencies confirm from the person who worked with the candidate, um, they don't pay that person for their time in giving honest information. And then they get paid uh, very big recruitment fees, uh, recruitment bonuses uh, for finding Goni using the information that I gave them. So what Credible Pro does is that it makes the money go to the person who actually worked with Goni not the person who is, not just the person who is doing the, the recruitment work. 
and so this will be the best place for recommenders to recommend. So if a recruiter calls, me, calls them and say, oh, why don't you recommendation about this person? They can say, oh, go on, go on the Credible Pro platform where I already gave this person a recommendation. If you want more information, then you call me. Um, and then, you know, they can always request for, for more information. So that's the first kind of review. Uh, it's a normal review. So I'm just going to do this quickly with a different example for a different type of review. So let's say you want to recommend someone who you haven't worked with that closely. They've impacted your life, but or they've given value to you in some way, some professional way, um, but you don't, you, you haven't worked with them for a significant period of time. So that's where you give a micro review. So it's like a smaller version of a review. So I'm going to use Anusha Mohan's profile here. Um, so here it's, I'm just going to move this. So how do, how do you know Anusha Mohan? So I'm just going to say, I know her from hosting TED Circle events in Mauritius, right? So Anusha hosts these TED Circle events, they're like meetups, uh they're like weekly they're like monthly meetups where people come and discuss ted talks uh that they really like and then as a result of that platform people get to share they get to discuss their their conceptions about the world and whatever the topic is uh so the impact i'm just going to say it's always a great way to spend my weekend network new people get inspiring and diverse views of the world okay so this is yeah and then that's it and then how do i rate this impact for me it's been really impactful because you know i look forward to the ted circles whenever they are they're being posted so share anything to help the authenticity of this review. Uh, I would have shared uh, a screenshot of my booking whenever the whenever I, I whenever I sign up for a TED Circle, which shows that I actually attend them, and then you submit the review. So this is a review that you can even give to someone who doesn't even know you closely. Um, and then let's just go and see what the review looks like on Anusha's profile. Uh, so this is a profile. So she hasn't received so zero reviews received, but she, she has one micro review received. And then there it is. It's always a great way to spend my weekend. So this is where micro reviews start to get interesting, right? So Anisha, for example, she's an NLP certified coach. Um, this is not something where she was trying to add value professionally, but she added value to me anyway. Uh, and so without her even intending on knowing, yes, some random or some stranger, someone she doesn't really know because maybe she had 40 people in the church circle. And instead of just giving a feedback in a feedback form, I'm giving it in a way that's documented for everyone else who wants to work with her to see. Uh, and the more you add this up, the more it, it starts to, to come up as, as, um, as something that's useful. And now once you have the reviews uh, and you've added and they've, they, you've, they've added up, you can download your profile. You can download all these reviews as a CV. Uh, so right now, because I've been giving reviews for other people, I won't be able to, I'm just going to go on my profile. Uh, yeah, and then on my profile, you can see the reviews I've given. So you see the reviews I gave to Ngoni. Um, the micro reviews, it doesn't show, but it shows the reviews. And then if I want to download my profile with all the reviews, I just go here, download my resume, and then it just gives this pop-up. And then it downloads, it downloads my resume as a PDF like this. So you can see. So in my case, because I don't have any reviews received yet, if we had done this for either Ngoni or Anusha's profile, it would have shown uh, all the recommendations and reviews received. So this will be the template. And then you can actually use this CV to apply for jobs elsewhere. So it works as a CV builder in that way. So yeah, um, 
And then I'm just going to quickly go over. Um, uh, so this is the, the value add for job seekers, opportunity seekers, right? So for, for, for hiring managers and recruiters, we, we now give you access to like really advanced filters and um, really advanced filters and, and talent searching capabilities where you see all the professionals on our platform and uh, some of the reviews they received. So in this case, the, the ones we have, uh, we don't have a lot of profiles right now, but you can see, uh, you can see, you can now say, you know what, right now I just want to see everyone, right? This is everyone. And then like, okay, maybe I want to see only people who have received at least one recommendation. So, and then you click this. So because right now we just gave one person a review, uh, only Gwani is the one you can see in this case. So now, if you are someone who is hiring, this saves you a lot of time because uh, there are a lot of candidates who don't have good references uh, or who are not actively trying to get good references. Uh, or if you're only looking for people with experience, then this becomes a very useful, very useful feature. Uh, or maybe you also want to, 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 to get people who have also given reviews. Because for me to be able to give reviews of other people, that means I'm also getting, I'm sharing in the value they're adding. So you can just choose to see, oh, I want to see people have given at least one review. Uh, or maybe you're looking for a recruiter, right? So people who have given reviews become a useful way to, this becomes a useful way to even hire recruiters. So in this case, there's only one person who's given a review, who is me in this case. Um, and then, yeah, and then also you can, you can use filters to say, I just want to see people who have like only five stars and above. Uh, again, in this case, because we're just using Gwani, you're going to see Gwani in different uh, examples. And maybe you say, okay, I want to be lenient. I'll take even someone with four stars. Uh, and then, you know, there I am with my four stars. Um, so, so yeah, so it's, there are all these different filters. You can choose people who want an hourly rate, hourly rate of a certain amount, and then you can change it. Or you can choose to say, you know, I just want people who speak uh, Africans, or let's use French in this case. Uh, let's see where it's French. Uh, oh, right there. And then there's Anusha, our, one of our few French speakers so far. So, you know, there's another filter, you can just choose different industries. Um, and then this is really useful if you are looking for people like that. If you're an entrepreneur or a co-founder who just started their company and you're looking for, say you just got incubated uh, at Vede Ventures um, and you want to find a co-founder, uh, you go on our platform uh, and then you go for Credible Pro slash co-founders. And then you're able to see all the talent that have listed themselves as people who are looking for co-founders. Um, and then you also get to see their reviews. So right now there are two people who have listed that they are looking for co-founders. That is me and Gwani again. Um, and then you're able to see that. Then you're able to use the different filters, you can look for people in different industries. Um, the big value comes in, once you go to these people's profiles, you are able to also communicate to the people who gave them reviews. So it's not just you talking to Gwani, you're also talking to Tinashe who gave Gwani a review to say, Okay, so I saw the review you gave Goni, but like, um, tell me more about X and X. Uh, how did you respond? Because maybe you have questions which were not addressed in our review form. So this is, this is a big part of it. And again, whenever people are asking you for more information about someone you recommended, you are getting paid for it. Um, and then, uh, so here, so these are referral groups. So these ones are for, Again, companies who are looking to hire talent. Um, so it's so right now I'm just going to show you what a referral group looks like. So these um, these can work as an internal job board for a company to just uh, add jobs publicly and then also add jobs for their for their own employees so that they recommend candidates who are already on the platform. So if you're a candidate on our platform, 
if you get a recommendation for someone who is in a credible pro referral group, you'll be able to be hired. So, uh, you know, this would show, um, you know, the different. So again, because this is empty information for now. So right now to show you, so posted jobs. So these are all the jobs that are posted in this referral group. So if you're a member of this group, if you were added, uh, you'd be able to, you'd, you'd, be, you'd be the only one with access to, to the jobs posted in this group. But then if you're not a member of a referral group, then you just go to the public job board, which is this jobs, and then you're able to see jobs. So right now, you know, we managed to get partnerships for to get jobs, uh, mostly uh, US-based jobs. Uh, those are the those are job those are the jobs which we are able to pay people uh, referral rewards for. So you can come on our job board and just click to see which jobs. If you helped us close you'd be paid a referral reward, and then you can see what referral reward it is. Uh, so you find that a lot of them are based in the US and North America in general. Uh, we have a few based in Mauritius. So what we are planning to do is to um, have partnerships with all the, uh, all the companies, all the incubators under the MRIC schemes to be able to post jobs for free. Um, and then we charge other companies in Mauritius who are not uh, beneficiaries of uh, the NSIS program or, or different programs. So again, a lot of these things haven't been uh, tested, but these jobs are already available. You can apply for them. And the way we are marketing them right now is we're marketing them to uh, Mauritians who live in the diaspora with, uh, with green cards in the US. So if you're Mauritian, you are affected by COVID, you lost a job, but you still have your green card, you don't want to come back home, uh, this is a job board for you where you can just see the jobs in the country you're already in so that you don't have to leave. Uh, so yeah, I think there's a lot and I think there's a lot which you'll be able to discover once you join the platform and um, once you start to use it. I would want to, I don't know if there are questions from people, uh, but I would, I would want to, to take it really more to the, to the questions just to get a sense of where people want more information um yeah but but this is this is mostly it i'll, I'll be happy to, to welcome questions all right uh thank you very much uh, Dinashe. it's a very interesting way of uh, recruitment i think that it's very innovative so the floor is open for any questions okay so um while waiting for one for questions so this can be used in, in uh, concomitance with uh, LinkedIn. So you post your own profile and together with it uh, profiles uh, what people think about you. Is that right? Yes. Um, this, is, this is supposed to be a more uh, comprehensive profile than what your LinkedIn would do. Um, so, so yeah, you can, you can use it together with your LinkedIn. Uh, but we've built in such a way that you don't need your LinkedIn profile to use it. Um, yeah. But but um, in in some way, let's say someone doesn't like me, uh, he or she can put uh, uh, a, a negative review on me. So is there a way that that you manage that, or how how does that work? Is there an administration of the information taken? Right, so that's a good question, right? Because again, like I said initially, our job is to make sure that reviews are honest, uh, that people are giving true information. So whenever you submit a review, uh, it gets different tags. So I'm just going to go to some of the reviews I've, so the review I gave. So I'm just going to go on Goni's profile. Um, so, there's, there was that piece of information where it asked uh, proof evidence that I collaborated with them. So I have to be able to show that. Um, and then once that's shown, our team would be able to verify that, in fact, this interaction that you actually worked with this person, um, from there onwards, um, we, once we establish that you actually had a relationship and work together, we, we won't take down a review, but you'll be able to, you'll be able to uh, answer, to, to comment on the review, to say, okay, uh, yes, you're saying this, that, but like, 
uh, this is the misunderstanding. Uh, and again, our profiles also, if, if you want to take down your profile and if you're getting bad reviews, maybe they're honest, especially if they're honest and you, you don't want to take, to take it, you're free to take down your profile, it's yours. Uh, but our job is to make sure that the reviews are honest. Whether they are not favorable to you is not, um, is not a problem. Okay, thank you. Um, any other questions? I think you were crystal clear, Tinashe. Um, so the platform is uh, up and running, right? Yes, it's up and running. It's working. This is, okay. you go on it right now, credible.pro, um, and you sign up. And then, uh, yeah, you know, you can send me any questions. If you're going yeah, through there's, any... uh, there's one, there's one, Tinashe. What's the incentive for the recruiters to watch the video if the test, the text says everything? Uh, yeah, that's a good question. Um, I think I love this question because the idea behind our platform is that you are getting access to free reference information. So anything above and beyond the free information is where we monetize. Um, so, uh, technically you're supposed to, you're supposed to be content with, with, with the, with the text review, but if you've ever noticed, I think because of how rigorous recruit, the recruitment process generally is, uh, you know, people make you go through some companies make you go through four different interviews. That means such people are interested in a, in a deeper level of, of, of understanding the candidate. Those are the kind of people who are going to be interested in the audio reviews, the video reviews, or even if maybe the text you, you can't, there's something you can't get from text that you can get from video and, and voice. From my voice and my video, you can get a sense of my enthusiasm, right? I really emphatically, this is the best person I've ever worked with. And you hear it in my voice, uh, you, don't, you don't feel this, you don't see this in the text. And therefore, for some people that matters, uh, in making a confident hiring decision. And so that's where the, that's where the audio reviews and the video reviews will come in. All right, thanks. Um, I think uh, there are no other questions. So um, okay. one final word, Tinashe, before we close uh, this meeting. Um, I guess the, there's a link which I shared. I think I shared it with the hosts um, for questions and feedback. I don't yeah. know if you can see Dr. Vikram. I think it's in the chat box. I think everybody oh, is can it? see it. Yeah. Oh, everybody can see. Okay. Ah, perfect. So yeah, you know, go go to go to that. Um, or if you want, Tinashe, you can just uh, open a Word document or something like that and just uh, click it again. Uh, because uh, this video is being recorded. So in case um, okay. there's something uh, which we don't see the chat box or whatever. So, um, okay, is, so I'm just going the... to... Yeah. Uh, yeah, so this is this is the platform where, you know, you can get in touch mm -hmm. um, and um, yeah, just go on typha.credible.pro um, and then you'll be able to if you have any questions, if you have any uh, issues with using the platform, uh, that's where you know we'll be able to to support you. Uh, All right. Yeah, but uh, I think this is a this is a different way of looking for a job. It's uh, I think we all need to start trying to document the value that we're adding, whether it's people we work with directly or are just just the different. Uh, the different platforms that we use um, uh, because you know once you never know uh, the stability of your full-time job it's just good to be able to to make sure that you have a credible foot you have a credible footprint on the online that can speak for itself um, and a LinkedIn profile is not enough uh, so so that's pretty much what I'd like to leave the audience with okay Thank you very much, uh, Tinashe. It was a pleasure working with you and uh, I think uh, you did an excellent job. Um, so wish you all the best and uh, we look forward to seeing the Credible Pro up and working uh, very good for you. Good luck. 
Okay. And, uh, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. Bye-bye. Okay. Okay. Bye. Thank you for coming, everyone. Thank you. Bye.